Hello and welcome back to Crossroads. I appreciate to get the name wrong last time. Uh, I also didn't get there very far or do much last time. Um, but I just wanted to give a little intro just to... I, I tend to, in the first part, not to go too overboard with it. I think stuff is affected by biomes and heat is obviously a, a big thing, so yeah. Um, I made a snow uh, flat world thing. So what I want to talk about now is... Uh, I want to basically just go over the things that I kind of got a little bit uh, wrong. So the coal heater, right? Um, so I just want to just go over some of the stuff with the coal heater and the heating chamber. Uh, and then we'll move on to some other stuff that I've been looking at as well. Um, so yeah, so if you look at the... Um, yeah, so basically as soon as with the ice cable, because it's melting point is zero, uh, as soon as I put coal in, uh, this will have a surprising result in a minute, actually. Uh, since I put coal in, this is going to melt immediately. As you can see there. But, and here, this is the interesting one. The dirt cable. Its melting point is 42. You can see that we're going to be already above that. Like, well above that, right? Uh, it was above the wall melting point, actually. But the dirt one is interesting, because the dirt... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower the temperature here a bit. Uh, by putting it down again. Uh, so we've got the dirt cable. So you see, as soon as we heat this up, this does a lot of interesting, strange things. So we'll see, there it is. So we can see we can get squ squid from it. This is this is not at all what you would might expect. We can get a villager. Here's the interesting one. See if I can get it. We get a sponge. Uh, another villager. Uh, puffer fish. Sponge. I think it's just random. Now uh, because I'm actually on peaceful mode, they actually turned into witches. Uh, but it's probably for the best, actually. So yeah, a few different cool effects you can get from that. Now here's the thing. What I was uh, effectively seeing is that you can actually use wall cable to do it. But of course, if I put a wall cable here, this is going to be a quite a big explosion, I think. I don't know. But yeah, obviously, if I do it like that, it's not going to be good. So, what I found, as I was... I was, think I may have alluded to it in the first episode. What I found is... Um, uh, it was in basics of heat, wasn't it? Uh, this. So it says dirt is a good insulator. So what I did... Uh, let's get rid of some of the uh, random stuff I've got there. What I did actually was... Um, I got some dirt and I got the woolen cable. So if we say we have the coal heat uh, like that... But let's say put it here. Uh, if we uh, connect the woolen cable here... It's got a melting point. I'm going to look at the loss. I, I think... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, to be honest, I haven't really... Uh, I maybe I will look at that in another episode. I, I'm, I'm probably going to... So you see, as you saw just then, the temperature goes well above 300. So this, theoretically, should uh, cause problems, right? Um, but when I heat it up... Well, not theoretically, it will cause problems. So the average temperature is about the naught there. But as soon as I heat up, this is going to go above 300 and explode, right? But if you put dirt as the insulator here, it's actually going to happen. And I'm not sure the exact rules on this. Uh, but, you know, it's just something like... Uh, just something like this, really. Uh... Yep, just checking out his recording, because I've, I've done this episode already. Um, yeah, so if you do something like that, and then we say we put in some raw mutton. So we'll put in some raw mutton here, into the, um, into the heating chamber. Now what we're going to see, and we'll just cap it off, why not? We can even put that there, I guess. Basically, it's not going to explode. I probably 
it's going to remain at 200. So yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I will show it in a minute, but I want to move on to something else rather than just wasting time sitting there for it to actually not explode. Uh, Dying wiring. Okay. So you can make fluid tubes. An average out, uh, pressure between the liquid divide my amount of most. So fluid tanks. Okay, I didn't even read this bit yet. Interesting. I could try. I could try with a steam boiler. There's a few other things I want to go into, but I want to sort of um, incorporate various different things at the same time. Uh, I think that would be cooler. Uh, let's just put it in the middle of the air because it looks like it's going to need it. Okay. Heat goes in the bottom. Steam comes out the top. Okay, so say I want to just, um, so yeah, so let's, um, so yeah, the heat exchanger is an interesting thing, right, because uh, we can look at this, by the way, now, you can see this is basically, it's at 200 now because of all this dirt around it, uh, and that's obviously the temperature it needs to cook. So yeah, so it's obviously not going to explode the wall cable, which has got 300. Um, so the heat exchanger, well, what does this do? Well, what we can see, say, uh, I'll just do another one here as well. If I, uh, if we look at the temperature of it, you can imagine it's zero. Look at the temperature now, just getting the block. You can see it goes to a thousand and immediately drops. This is opposed to the um, insulated heat exchanger. Uh, which I did not want to do. Oh, actually I did, yep. Uh, well, actually I can just uh, put the insulated one here first and then just get rid of this. You see, it turned the magma directly to netherrack and it got 500 degrees centigrade. And you can see it's not actually changing. Uh, conversely, if I get a lava bucket, so the magma will give it 500. A lava bucket, either lava source or preferably... Uh, you see, if you break, if you had, if you were breaking that cobblestone block, which has just appeared under there, you see it's now fifteen hundred. Um, so yeah, and then if I wanted to, um, and so you see, this is now like a really hot block, like lava. So if I put this heat exchanger next to it, you can see that it's they're rapidly going to go down. It's going to share the energy and then it's going to rapidly go down to nothing. Which is cool. Um, so yeah, so obviously if this is if the heat exchanger is actually getting a constant source of uh, energy, it's going to... Because that was the thing that was kind of clear, is that it is a bit like a cable. Even these blocks are like cables. They're not... There's not, you know... Um, so again, I mean, I, and I do wonder, this is something which I haven't really checked on, but say we had another, if we had a, like, could we, uh, the question I guess is, before we move on to steam and stuff like that, is if we've got a coal heater, can we go for a wall cable again? I mean, can we, is it possible to do something like this? This is this is what I was actually wondering about. We just go like that, and then we go for another heat chamber, and then we try the same sort of thing. Uh, let's have a look. So again, we'll get some raw 
just get rid of that one, get rid of this one, put that in there. So let's have a look how this one decides to heat up. So you can see it's going up here. So essentially it's almost like, let me just look at the entry for heat exchanger again. And then using bad conductors like iron to c connect to a heat exchanger. Hmm. So well, that's the thing. Iron is 0 0.1. Quartz is 0.05. I think what, I mean, the thing is what I don't quite get on that is that and copper is copper is a D, yeah I guess copper I think I guess I think it's just basically the copper and diamond are what would they would call a good conductor right So yeah, so I'm just curious if we can get this to. Is it still going to be going up quite significantly? This. I'm going to try to do something like this. Uh, yeah. Make your main heat systems with good conductors. Then using bad conductors like iron to connect to a heat exchanger. So probably I want. Yeah. So what I've got there is a copper wall. So that's still going to be a good conductor. It's only at seventy-two though. Whereas this is. I was trying to work out if this was going to make any difference. I wonder if I put magma around here if this is going to heat this area up more. We're in a bucket. Uh, doesn't seem to have too much effect on it. I don't know. Um, Try putting this in here actually. That should zoom up, shouldn't it? No, it doesn't know. I don't think not everything has an effect. I mean certainly if I do a, a magma block here that will increase It's getting there now. i do one more, maybe. So it is regulating it. I think that's probably enough, though, to keep it... We'll see, we'll see. Uh, yes, yeah, so what do we have on s rotary and f what's the
So how do you make the grindstone? It's pretty basic. Uh, let me look at this in the next episode, I think. Hello, uh, welcome back to Crossroads. I'm currently trying to see what's going on with this. Uh, I've realised if you use the hand crank, basically this is the block called a master axis block. And if you use the uh, speeder meter, you can see you can see it's slowing down, but obviously you can manually keep on increasing the speed. Uh, I'm not sure though why it isn't processing the ores. Uh, that's an interesting one. Because I'm trying to work out how to use a grindstone. So yeah, I mean, if I just get copper ore, the problem is I think that that is uh, immersive engineering, is it not? I mean, I could try a different gear maybe, but... Maybe a bronze gear might be one I want. Let's try bronze, some bronze gears. It may just be I'm not getting, it's not getting, the speed is not getting anywhere near fast enough. Um, that may be what the problem is. So we could try some bronze ones. I found you have to stand right in front of it to get it to work. I could use that thing from extra utilities that right clicks on it. Is that really not doing anything? I don't know why. You would think that they're probably about the right. For some reason, you can't click with that thing. And they have to be in front. Of, you have to be literally in front of it. It's funny. Uh, there's a lot of different stats on it. Hmm. 